Some of the character components during animation shouldn't be selected because they might be mistakenly animated. In order to choose which component you would like to be selected, then we should go to selection filter. At the moment it's set to all, so you can select everything in the scene, like characters, environment, everything, or all. But we can put this selection filter to animatable and then whatever in the character which can be animated can be selected but the components that cannot be animated they cannot be selected also we can put the selection filter to for instance geometry and if we put it to geometry the component which are geometry can be selected but the controllers cannot be selected this feature is really useful if you want to move some of the layers. For instance, this boat has two layers and we want to move one of the layers in depth. The filter which is really useful is custom filter. Then you can customly choose the different types and define our selection filters by type. For instance, if we tick only characters, then we can select only characters in the scene. So if an object is a part of characters, then it can be selected. But if it's a part of uh, an environment, then it cannot be selected. But once we tick environment, then environment will also be included in our list, as well as the characters and objects and backgrounds as well. If we take root only, then we can get the reference controller of every object or character. Therefore, we cannot select the components of objects like uh, characters. This is really handy feature if we want to lay out a very large plan so then we can select objects you would like and then just move them without changing the shape of the object or moving the components of every object. Then we can easily move our objects where we want.